power quality is not a matter of seconds. Power quality is a matter of minutes, of hours, or even of days. Because for a reliable power quality evaluation, you need precisely acquired operating values over a longer time period from which the CCAM power quality device can calculate significant mean values. As an example, let's take a typical secondary substation that is monitored by a CCAM Q100. In the line, voltage-related interferences can occur all the time. For example, voltage sags, transients, harmonics, and much more. CCAM Q100 constantly records these interferences and saves the individual operating values separately for each measured quantity. From the operating values, the CCAM Q100 calculates mean values, for example, every 10 seconds a mean value of the frequency, every 10 minutes a mean value of the voltage, and every 2 hours a mean value of the measured flicker. CCAM Q100 packs all mean values calculated within a likewise parameterizable time period in a PQ diff file conforming to IEEE 1159. For further ongoing grid quality evaluation, the CCAM Q100 sends this PQ diff file via IEC 61850 to a higher level system called CCAM PQS. CCAM PQS enables all power quality data from the field level to be centrally gathered and archived for a multitude of connected CCAM power quality devices. CCAM PQS subsequently assesses the gathered data on the basis of grid codes. A grid code defines the limits to be adhered to for all measured quantities, like the maximum permissible level of harmonic oscillations. The grid code defined by the EN50160 standard describes the requirements laid down for the grid quality in European distribution grids. You can also define your own grid codes for applications with individual quality requirements. The comparison of the measured actual states with the grid code limits makes the individual interferences visible. The results obtained can be presented measurement point related in reports that CCAM PQS generates after the grid code evaluation in parameterizable time intervals. By the way, the individual operating values acquired in the power quality devices are not suitable for the power quality evaluation. However, you can use them to visualize current operating states on the grid control center. For this, the operating values are transmitted with the PQ diff files via IEC 61850 on the same communication line. CCAM Power Quality. Measurably better.